Into to MK. So earlier on, I did allude to the fact that we had Steve Wells coming into the studio. Now, Steve is a local musician. Um, he's recently just disbanded his band. It only just recently got back together, but he's still very active in the music industry locally. And Steve is here right now. Hello, Steve. How are you doing? Not too bad. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. So you've got this uh, Musicians Against Homelessness gig coming up. Yes. Week, not this weekend, next weekend. Next weekend. So it's the 23rd, 24th, 25th of September. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, Three really days. looking forward to it. Yeah, it's um, Newport Pagnell on the Friday is the Royal British Legion. That's the launch night okay. being hosted by the Dead Heartbeats, which are a local band in yeah. Newport Pagnell. And they've got AKA, um, they've got Jill Beckett, Mike Russell, Plucky Haggis, Dan Patmore, John Michael Davies kicking the night off. It's going to be um, a really good start Dan to Patmore. it all. Dan Patmore? I didn't know he was a musician. He's brother of Rise Bailey Rice. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know he was uh, yeah, music. yeah. Um, when the vision were first around years yeah. and years ago, he was a solo artist. Oh. Just Dan, he played the pits quite a lot, and uh, go. he's got Starlins and Sparrows now, which oh. we've got also playing on the Saturday at the Coachmakers Arms. Well, I rudely interrupted. So that was so anyone else playing on Friday before, besides those ones you just mentioned? No, that that's the, like... that's the first. That's the like maiden voyage, yeah, and then yeah. and then the Saturday's the big day in Newport Pagnell. Yeah. So we've got the main stage, which is the Newport Pagnell Working Men's. Um, the headliners there are Mad Mods and Englishman. Yeah. Uh, Tony Hill, who's a fantastic, hard-working local artist. Salt, uh, the Estrellas, Yes Men, Little Liam from Birmingham. Um, they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they, uh, they're really, really good. Um, yeah. Check them out. Adam Firecheck as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Milton Keynes' own, who was the drummer in Baby Shambles. I'm delighted to have him on the bill. We've got the Blue Cabs, Ian Roberts, Alex Wesley, Wesley and Billy Nomad um, oh, wow. and we've got Bar Central DJ spinning tracks there as well and then you go over to the Canon for a more heavier flavour I suppose you've got Wild Wild Club headlining with The Shamed uh, Lead Shot Hazard uh, Ross Connor Project Noise Apple Shift 7 Rise Bailey Rise which is Richard Patmore <laughs> uh, Fragile Things Tox Chem which used to be Smudge right. and Stone Thieves and a um a solo artist called James J.R. Pittman. He's uh, he's going to be opening up the show at the Cannon. And then also, wow. at the same time, this is all happening between 2 p.m. Yeah, yeah. and then going on till it's about 11. Of, of yeah, <laughs> exactly. I don't, don't know what I got myself in for here. Um, but we've got um, Adam and Mark um, DJing with uh, some funk and soul hmm. from 9 p.m. Um that's the Coachmaker's Arms. That's the coach yeah, right. so that kicks off at two. The live music goes on until nine o'clock, and then you've got uh, Mark, uh, Adam Jarman and Mark Stevenson doing Funk and Soul, um, spinning a few tunes there. Um, we've got on that bill, we've got Adam Duffel, um, Starlings and Sparrows with Dan Patmore, uh, Manny Adamolu. Yeah, um, guy. Yeah. That's him. Mm-hmm. He's he's a brilliant um, performer. Uh, we've got Final Clearance doing a strip down acoustic set. Steve Draper, uh, Nina Santini and her band are playing. Uh, Curtis Ersa, Big Kurt. Yeah. Um, Cassie Awardman, who's fantastic. Um, and I'll be playing a few songs as well. Yeah. So... Yeah, it's a bit. It's gonna. That's gonna be the big day, really, for yeah. live music. And then on the sun, <laughs> on the Sunday, wow. as the finale okay. at the at the Crawford Arms, yeah. is a, um, a like a Britpop musical theatre show uh, wow. called The Girl from Mars, yes. which is um, I've, I've seen previews of it. It's absolutely incredible. And uh, supporting there, you have got the Relights and you and Emerton. So it's a, a huge huge event that sounds absolutely <laughs> massive and you know two things that i'm super passionate about is the local music scene and homelessness and obviously i do do a bit of volunteering in my spare time but but that sounded like a naff dj i don't want to talk about it but <laughs> if i if i wasn't in croatia i would totally be there next yeah, weekend yeah. so many so many names that i recognize from the scene and uh you know, out and about on town. So it sounds like you've got a lot of hard work on your hands. So how are you raising money for the homelessness? Are you going around the bucket? Are you charging people to get in? What's well, this, what's the deal? Some venues is admission, yeah. uh, so two pound on the door, mm-hmm. and that's going to be the uh, working men's club mm-hmm. and the cannon. Yeah. The other venues are just free entry, but there will be buckets uh, rattling around. We've got weekend wristbands that are available from the official. Um, Musicians Against Homelessness ticket partner, uh, we got tickets. Yeah. 
Um, they're ten pounds, and they will just let you everywhere, like a full weekend ticket, and that also includes the finale on Sunday, um, which is five pound on the door. But obviously, if you've got a wristband, that gets you entry there as well. So it's a really good deal. So whereabouts is the money going to go? Uh, exactly. Yeah, that's a very good point. The, <laughs> the, the, the thing bigger than it, all of this is uh, Crisis, the homeless yeah. charity. The, all the money is going directly to Crisis. Nobody's making any money out of this. And that is from the bands um, who are kindly, yeah, yeah. everybody's yeah. kindly giving up their time. Yeah, me. Um, the, the people that um, founded it as well, because this is the first year of Musicians Against Homelessness, there's 600 venues over a three week period that yeah. are, are doing this and it's all been launched by Alan McGee um, oh, who... Records, yes, Spain. that's it, yeah. yeah, so obviously I'm, I, I lean towards him anyway because yeah. he discovered the band that sort of changed my life yeah, really, yeah. so you know, Vision. jumped on that, but uh, but yeah, Crisis take all of all of the money directly okay. um, and we, yeah, we just really want to raise as much money as we can well, it sounds like an amazing endeavour so if people want to find out more is there a Facebook page or a website where they can find out all the bands again and get more information There's probably the best thing would be the event page if you just search Musicians Against Homelessness Newport Pagnell it'll, it'll come up and it, it's got all the details there um, and we've got individual lineups on there as well so um, you can have a little peruse and see if there's anybody you would particularly like to see or, or you know come out for the whole thing why not just uh, yeah just yeah. just um, Pub crawl. <laughs> Worthwhile cause as well. Well, thank you so much, Steve, for coming in and at such a notice as well. It sounds like you're going to have your hands full. I will think of you while I'm just lying by a pool and relaxing. Um, but yes, I'm sure you're going to have your work cut out, but it's all very, very worthwhile. Um, and do come in and talk to us again. Let us know how you got on. Will do. Well. Thanks for That's having brilliant. me. You're welcome, Steve. Up um, next, I've got a track by the Dandy Warhols.